This is Nick with Insight Creative Arts Therapy to talk about how to send audio from your digital audio workstation, or DAW, into Zoom for your telehealth music therapy sessions. The potential for utilizing multiple instruments with quality sounds either via direct input, mic placement, or virtual MIDI instruments can significantly expand the musical resources available to you in telehealth. If you are curious about microphones or audio interfaces, please check out my other videos. First, let's do a brief introduction of digital audio workstations. They are most commonly a type of software to record and edit audio, sometimes referred to as recording programs. There are an exhaustive amount of options to use as your software, so do some research into which software will best fit your needs. There are free options available with basic features, while others come with a larger price tag. Also, please note that each software is going to have a different pathway to sending the audio into Zoom, but this video should give you the information you need to find the right solution. Another consideration is the type of device you are using for your clinical practice. Different operating systems like Mac or PC have different pathways to making this work. And there may be some differences depending on which version of their OS that you're using. Let's start with the easiest option, sending DAW audio into Zoom on a Mac. The good news is that the work on how to do this has already been done. Edgar Rothermich has a free ebook available providing Mac users with a step-by-step -step process of how to route their audio from Logic Pro, GarageBand, Pro Tools, and other DAWs into Zoom. The ebook is available on the website musictechexplained.com, which is in the description below. He does have a Patreon page linked on the site if you would like to support him. I will also put a link to a video from Gabby Rose who also shares methods of sending your DAW into Zoom on Macs. Okay, Windows PC users, it's your turn. First, download Voice Meter Banana. The link is in the description below. Then, install the virtual audio cable. Again, the link is below in the description. These two programs essentially create a virtual mixer within your computer to route audio in ways that are not usually possible. Once they are installed and opened successfully, you shouldn't need to change any of the settings as they will function in the background. Now, make sure your DAW is set up and ready to make music. I will be making a video about this soon, but there are plenty of other videos specific to your software and device. Once all of your instruments and microphone are set up and ready to go in your DAW, we now need to route the signal into Zoom. Here, you will need to download the Voxango Recorder audio routing plugin. There's a link in the description. This plugin essentially records and broadcasts the audio signal from your DAW so you can send it into another program. Live music streamers use this tool. Open the folder and copy the Voxango Recorder.ddl into the plugins library of your DAW. Again, if you need help, there are videos explaining how to find and use your plugin folders for the program you are using. If your DAW is open, close it and relaunch the program. Now, find the master track on your DAW. For Ableton, it is here from this view. And now add a new effect to the channel. Check out some how-to videos if needed for your DAW and add the Voxango Recorder app to the master track like I already have here. If it is not showing up, make sure to scan for new plugins in your DAW. Rescan. If it is still not showing up, hold tight and I will show you another potential issue later in the video. Make sure the Voxango recorder is the last on your effects chain for the master track. Turn on the recorder and click on its settings. Mine is already running because I'm using it to record this video. The MME device is a drop down menu for output options. Select speakers parentheses VB audio virtual cable is different than you'll see here on my video. This is the virtual cable you downloaded earlier. Set the buffer count to 16 and the buffer size to 2048. Then on the output two, change it to MME 
and the bit depth to 24. I know mine are different here in the video right now. Now press start this button here and now your audio signal is being sent out to the virtual audio cable. Now open Zoom and in the settings under audio, change the microphone to cable output VB audio virtual cable. You should now have your audio from your DAW running directly into Zoom. You will have to start the Voxango recorder plugin each time you open your DAW as it does not run after the DAW has been closed. You may notice some lag time between your video and audio when running in Zoom, and that's because your audio is running through all of these programs first. For me, it's about a 300 millisecond delay. Okay, for those of you that still cannot find the Voxango recorder in your plugins after setting up everything correctly, the first thing is to look up how to find if your DAW can use 32-bit plugins when running a 64-bit version. In my case, I use 64-bit Ableton Live 9, which does not allow for 32-bit plugins like the Voxango recorder to be used. However, there is a way around this. A program called Jbridged, which is linked in the description, will help you with this. This program makes it possible for 32-bit plugins to be used in a 64-bit program. The developer has very detailed instructions, which are linked in the description below the download link. Once that is set up, boom, you're done. All of the hard work and effort will pay off to have access to such a variety of musical resources for your telehealth music therapy sessions. I'm going to link a page in the description of a music streamer who has some troubleshooting tips when using these programs, such as hearing pops or crackling audio. What cool virtual instruments do you use for your telehealth practice? I'll make a video of some of my favorites soon. Let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe.